a example action using Coxix's character sheet. And we all get to see the action you do then. Uh, Just press refresh. Thinking about occult stuff. <laughs> oh, that's too long. Thinking about the occult. Uh, difficulty is yeah default six unless I say otherwise basically. So I'll always put it on six. No, that's not my kids. Difficulty eight. Uh, Cox six has three dice in occult, four in intelligence, so he'd be rolling seven. Click roll and you'll see. Oh, Paul Testman roll seven dice to thinking about the occult. Paul Testman roll seven dice to thinking about the occult. I can see it. Five, six, six, right, seven, see. six, nine, eight. And it calculates the amount of successes you got, so... There we can all see that. So the more successes, the better, basically. Oh, what please. did you put the difficulty on with that one? That was six. So you can see yeah, everything above six is it's a success. A success. Uh, okay, I can see. I can see. Uh, that was pretty lucky. You didn't get anything below a five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <sighs> other rules in the game. So if it's your spe if you're doing something with your specialty, you click the re-roll 10s, which means when you get a 10, you roll another dice. Oh, right. Is that, like, my holy thing? Oh, uh, well, that's... Uh, so, um... Uh, as an example for you, because I'll just look at Jim Mage. Uh, so if you're... Um... Using your manipulation because you've, you've prophesied something? I guess that's your specialty. Um, you would roll tens again. Okay. okay. Um, but uh, for one thing, the XPS file we all saved. Yeah, that's you what can't, uh, You can't do anything to that. Yeah. You, How do we, you don't that. need to. Mm. Okay. Mine's not entirely up to date because there were. Uh, other I'll quickly edit yours. Well, sorry, ask you some and send it back to you. Oh, how do we get a version that can, can you? Edit? Oh, well, I can't edit it. I'll, I'm just refilling it. Yeah, I, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, because <laughs> that doesn't take very long. But how do we get a version that we can? I edit think we just have to it? rely on Jack to be in charge of our everything. Well, like things that you need to edit will only be health. Oh, I only have like one that. success. Uh, but I can't interact with the sheet. But I'll edit, I'll keep track of that view. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do uh, I only I, have I've one got... success while I uh, when I have Shit. more above six? Oh no, mm. it's six. Oh, uh, it's it's higher than six. Yeah. So it doesn't so six count six itself. So I only have one. Just refresh, you'll see. I only have one success. Uh, okay. Well, I was getting on to the other roll. Once subtract successes. Ah. Ah. I now I get it. Now I get it. Can this gherkin? So I rolled twice for some reason. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll just quickly edit your sheet. That's the sorry side. For you. And if you get less than zero, or rather you have zero and a one, that's a botch, which means not only does it fail, it fucks up spectacularly. Oh. How, how do that's you roll it? Oh, wait, if you have... Uh... For example, one success and three ones. That's a botch. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't have many points in something, like, you might succeed in it, but you're more likely to botch, right? I mean, botching is a fairly unlikely thing, because unless it's a really difficult task, mm. like it, with only one dice, attempting a difficulty ten thing, as impossible. The same amount to succeed as it does to botch. Oh. It just as like, because a one botches, a ten succeeds. Mm. Now, what are you, what did Jim and you link? It's just a oh. natural look at my YouTube channel that reminded me about that Freedom Force video. <laughs> I subscribe to yours and to Coxix and to Viennia's channel. I'll be there. So, in. so this cool. is, yep. My, um, my points did change. Slightly, didn't they? Uh, you took oh, one out of node and put one into avatar? Precisely. Cool. And we'll spend a few minutes updating these.
player Jim Manji. Which, uh, it's kind of annoying. If you had Adobe Pro, you'd be able to change that. Oh, I don't know. Questing Tamina Caregiver. Okay. The new Jesus. Rolling seven dice again. <laughs> ha! Two successes, so I'm uh, allowed to get high two times. <laughs> Getting high normally isn't something difficult enough to roll for. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Probably say you succeed at that. You don't have to roll. But if it's, if it's a magic course. weed thing, yeah, <laughs> then that needs rolling. You always roll for magic. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna get to chat to Jesus. That's my uh, daily disconnect. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Well good, good. All right, three. Okay, I put that in. Oh, my my stream is running, so. Oh, so I'm just editing things for people. Be my guest. We have all the time in the world. It's Sunday, uh, for fuck's sake. It's Jim needs plus mm. two to legend. Wow. I don't it's think legend. I understand the dice. Uh, <laughs> what are you getting hung up on? If unless it's everything. Yeah, pretty much everything. Paul is how many? Jumanji rolls five roll, dice roll. to chatting to Jesus. <laughs> so if you look at your character sheet, if I asked you to roll perception plus alertness, you'd add the amount of dots in perception and the amount of dots in alertness, and that's how that's your dice pool. That's how many dice I'm rolling. Yeah. How many dice? Okay. Right. And then with successes. Yeah. By default, it's a success if it's above six. By default, yeah. And when does that change? Uh, that, uh, for particularly difficult things. Unless I say otherwise, it'll be six. Okay. Um, so if you're trying something above your skill level, you'll up the difficulty. And how many successes do you need to do things? Uh, one is basically you just managed to do it. Right. Uh, so you might More say than one, you, you shine gloriously. As for example, you're trying to jump over a gap between two buildings. A failure uh, would probably mean you Ending grab hold the of ground. the end of the ledge with just your fingernails, and then you'll have to make strength rolls to try to pull yourself up. Okay. So a failure doesn't normally punish you massively. A botch would be you fall and break your leg. And a botch you wouldn't even to... die. What's a botch then? Compared to a uh, failure? botch is uh, if you roll no successes and get a one. And in a watch. So yeah. It, yeah, it's a minus. So if it's negative, it's a watch. If yeah. it's negative, it's a watch, yeah. Okay. Legend 4, wow. Yeah, well, he is Jesus and the Buddha, so yeah. quite a lot of people <laughs> would have heard of him. Past Life's 3. Uh, a lot of people have heard of Jesus and the Buddha, not of you, <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah, that's why his fame is really low. Ah. His legend is really high. <laughs> Cult 1. You've put some good thought in it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so one success would probably represent uh, you just make it, you know, half of your feet are just teetering over the edge. You can get your balance and go. But if you Whereas like really three well. or five successes even would mean like you do it, you do like a roll at the end and then you get up and you keep on running. What would you gain from that? Lose time, I guess? It More depends on the situation, basically. Mm, I suppose if you're being chased or something. If you're being chased, yeah. Essentially, if Might you're be being chased, like... uh, how well you Sorry, do will me. set the bar for how well they need to do to actually catch up to you. Mm. 
So if you roll four successes, I'm like... Do you have to roll, by the way, Paul? Jump, and they only roll three. You did that jump better, so you lose less time doing it. Things, yes. Hey, Paul, do you I have mean, to roll? I mean, some things I don't have roll for. Some things I'll be like, okay. that's that plot that's happening. Okay, but some right things there. even you have to leave to chance. But I... I don't like doing that's just plot very often. Hmm. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just finishing Jim's character sheet. Uh, you've got the merit, true faith. You've got the floor, Gaius. And during the game, I can literally ask anything to you, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, Even the most weirdest questions I can ask to you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> like, seeing as I have four points in science, Paul, could you check for me if there's a way to travel from one point to another? Google it, <laughs> or something. Yeah, I'll say the benefit of playing this with a computer hand, it means I'm far more knowledgeable than I actually am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have Google at your disposal. Google is the shit. Uh, this one needs to be... Gym update, mage. Save. Oh, I'm gonna add the, the roll window to the stream too. <laughs> so that is Jim update done. And then I'll update you, Coxix, and then we should just okay. get carried. So I, I've just updated Jim, so I need to uh, send him the link to get his character sheet. Just crop it a bit. Jim, in the mumble now. That should be you. Uh, oh. yep. Uh, Coxix needs updating. Coxix mage. You are Fernando Skolwitz. Fernando even. So just for the people watching the stream, I muted myself for a second. Uh, as you can see, we're playing Mage the Ascension, which is a role-playing pen and paper game, but we're playing it on a PC, which makes it a bit easier. Um, yeah, we're just going to start this playthrough and do whatever we need to do. Paul is our, um, our game master, and he'll... Tell us what to do, when to do, and yeah, I, for me it's new, so you'll just have to sit and hold. So, yeah, for everyone, thanks for watching in advance, and we're going to start our playthrough. You've got a lot of wits. You are so witty. I'll be back in a minute. That's cool. I'm still filling this out. I wish I had Adobe Pro. Why Pro? Because then I could edit this without putting it all back in, apparently. Mm -hmm. You can edit PDFs on it, which is actually really cool. In a sort of worky way. Yeah. Well, it can be fun. Sometimes. <laughs> and uh, what do you know about what? I'm going to be doing some. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Eventually. Statistics by one, and improve science by one. Paul doesn't need any work. He doesn't, actually. No, I know. <laughs> I don't need any work as long as welfare holds on, so... Can't you make your dog work, Paul? Yeah. She's an excellent hunting dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine that. 
Just dragging a deer your way. <laughs> Here you go. I caught that just for you. Now, I imagine Bailey's to be a really, really small dog. Yes. <laughs> I'm I'm about I was about to ask what brand is it, but I don't think dogs have a brand. What breed is it? That's it. Hello again, uh, King Charles. That's small, right? That's yeah. a wolf. <laughs> Resonance Gothic. Oh, empathy. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Am I the only one who didn't take powers that are all about like moving through time or distorting space? No, I didn't do that I either. Didn't. Uh, the two people who aren't playing today are the people <laughs> who did all that. Basically. Oh right, <laughs> and me, and me. I oh, have I'm, some yeah. time, but no correspondence. No, I have uh, matter in mind. I forget what correspondence did. It's to do with space. I see. Ah, oh, fuck Impulsion. space. I just Great want God. time. So Fiona and Hex both made Glaswegian space-time distorters. I can't remember what Hex... I'd have to look at Hex's kind of feet. Hex has a Glaswegian rapper. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> all I know. Yeah, yeah. And Fiona's the depressed Glaswegian accountant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I missed that bit. <laughs> oh, you and should, he sees the world you should like watch my YouTube works. channel. You can read the whole. Uh, you can uh, yeah, listen you can to the whole character creation. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably have to do that at some point. And go, what the hell happened? <laughs> that, that's one of the reasons why. Mate, I'm your sheet is this. almost updated. So everyone knows how to use the roller. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All, just, all just on the same it. page on that. You've given it a test if you need to. I've given it a, a few tests. Jumanji rolls ten dice to not being Hitler's son. Difficulty nine. So Four successes. Difficulty... <laughs> yeah, you were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so do we do pool? Hmm? Put things in the pool? In the pool? The pool is how is many dice die. rolling. Dice die. Yeah, dice. Dices. Dices. Uh, dice. Unless it's one dice, and then it's a die. Yeah. yeah. Coxix. Update. Oh, three tens. Ah, oh, one one. So you can't get above twenty dice. I think that that's all the thing can manage, and you have to roll them separately. You'd have to be some sort of god. What? I just rolled twenty dice and got two successes. Oh, I rolled twenty <laughs> dice and got six success successes. Hmm. Hey. hey. That was bizarre. Rolls 20 dice, yeah, mm. difficulty 7. Yeah. I got 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 8, and it says two successes. Oh, I see. It's a lot of ones, ones in there, too. So many ones, yeah. yeah. That's why the, the way this game is built, it only really handles probability up, well, up to 10 dice, which is how many you should, you should only really be rolling up to 10, ever. Ever. Because after that, the odds of you getting botches increase failures are increase that makes sense because you're more likely to get ones mm, yeah anyway right so uh oh did i actually yeah i did send that to the thing have you got your new character sheet coccyx i've got a new one yes i've just put the image gracefully taking out that point of linguistics and putting it into science i like that dumb ways to die video it's good, eh? uh, I thought Paul might enjoy it too. I, thought, I enjoyed what I watched of it, and then I had to do things. <laughs> uh, right. So the game is going to be set in a small church. Well, your kind of base of operations is St. John's Church, which is in Stratford, which is nice, isn't it? Do we need a map of London? Well, everyone's base of operations. Uh, well, that's, that's essentially, that's uh, where you guys kind of meet to do all your sort of major gatherings and hang do out we, with other majors. Do we know each other at the beginning of the game? You do. Good, we don't have to have that awkward. Hey. Awkward, yeah. I'm Roger. 
You <laughs> probably bounced off other sort of chantries around the country, or in Nash's case, around the world, because they've all got their way of thinking, and they accept, you know, special, you know, specific types of magic and ways of doing things. And this uh, is my. You uh... found your kind of home at, St at this church because the guy who heads up the chantry is pretty much. Uh, Everyone is right. No one's wrong. Do as you please. Okay. Okay. And it's really convenient because I just beg around the corner, so you know. Yeah. Well, it's it's a short walk. Beggars. <laughs> and I'm always looking for new Christians yes. to easily convert. There are a small group of them who've already come away to your round of thinking. Damn. I I have a wealthy, rich family, even though I'm not. So they sent me there, I guess. <laughs> I thought it was a church, not a, like, boarding school. Cool. Well, he'll have, he'll have his own little apartment in London. The church is where you gather and meet up and okay. talk about magical theory and argue with each other and do wondrous things away from prying eyes. Go on a space adventure. Go on a space adventure. You get to the top of the church and it's basically space. Um... So, where was I? <clears throat> uh, you're not a large group, including your lot, which also includes Fee and Hex. Uh, maybe other six other people come here. You seem to remember that once upon a time there were more people, you know, who had come to gatherings and things, but you can't put your finger on any given person who's not there now. People have just seemed to be less of them in recent months. Is there anything you want to do before I launch plot at you? Um, uh, get can I just point out that <laughs> last time we played White Wolf, we mm. killed the plot. Actually, no, it wasn't the White Wolf, but just try not to kill the plot unless that's what you have to <laughs> The first right. NPC you meet, yeah. we eat him. Yes, that's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That's why we don't play Jade Claw anymore. Even though I missed. Everyone else didn't. <laughs> May I suggest that you let God into your hearts? That's that's all I have to say before we start. Is that going to be your accent? He's a Southern preacher, though Southern America, Southern USA rather than Southern Britain. He's not from Somerset. Right. I was going to send a text to Fiennes' phone, but he's not here. So Coxix, uh, you get a phone call. <gasps> dun dun dun. <laughs> Well, answer you know, then. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> answer your phone, <laughs> goddammit. Like, no, I'm busy doing nothing <laughs> right now. Alright, hello. He's calling. Um, there's a lot of noise going on in the background, a lot of roughage. And you hear a familiar woman's voice. Uh, she's one of your, fre like, magey friends. Uh, Lee. Oh, hey, Gret. No, oh, no. <laughs> it's a girl. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she starts screaming down the phone. <laughs> Fernando, thank God I got you. Please, 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 you've got to come help me. Uh, this lunatic, he's attacking me. Jesus Christ, where are you? Here! Uh, where are you? Uh, where is she? Wait, was that meant to be, was that meant to be a joke about my character? <laughs> what? You said Jesus Christ, where are no. you? <laughs> so I shouted, right here. I'm going to have to watch everything I say. There's going to be a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the West Ham Recreation Grounds. The West Ham doing a job for the old man, and then this guy turned up. Oh shit, he's coming back, and the Jesus. phone goes dead. Oh god, guys, I've got to go there. <laughs> <laughs> da -na -na -na. Jesus Christ, let's go. Okay. <laughs> what about the rest of us? <laughs> you can come too. It's like. You're going. Where are, going, Where are we going, man? Where are we going? Tell me. Recreation center. Who can drive? Uh, you can drive. I've got one point of driving. Does I've, anyone... I I just lit it up my spliff, my man. I can't drive. <laughs> All right, I'll drive. You can drive. It's just very slow. <laughs> no, I have no. Let's go. I have no what, driving what skills, man. Key You're all in. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 I forgot my phone. You're just going to resolutely not call her Lee, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Can I meditate whilst in the car? You may. Okay. You cool your mind in preparation for things to come. 
To the mage mobile, man. To the mage mobile. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, as you near the park, can anyone with awareness roll me perception plus awareness? Difficulty seven. Perception. Seven. One second. Plus awareness. That's three. I times. have two. Awareness. Difficulty seven. No, oh, I thought I had stuff in awareness. What's Wait, difficulty? I've got, I've got a clock that does this kind mm. of thing. What's difficulty, Paul? Seven. Is this everyone with awareness? Everyone with awareness, yeah. People without. Uh, I botched! Do we roll... I botched! <laughs> do we roll as many dice as we have perception and awareness? Yes. I got two successes, and... Ooh. Natch got a, uh, a botch. One of, my, say, one of my talent dots have vanished. What did you think the difficulty was? Where was it? Uh, awareness. Oh, well, you roll. Roll. What did you <laughs> we'll say the difficulty was? Six seven, or seven. Seven, seven okay. Oops, Man. I forgot to change the name. Still says I... successful reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> People looking at this. Wow, they're doing some high level stuff. But I botched. You've botched. Uh, everything's fine. Things, oh. are, things are perfectly normal no, as far as you're concerned. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> and we're it comes up in big capitals. Botch. Yeah. <laughs> botch. No. I don't know why it keeps, oh, it keeps rolling my thing every time I press refresh. <laughs> Probably get rid of that. No, it's just gonna do it. Uh, who got the most? Jim. I, got... I can't <coughs> see oh, no. anyone else's apart from mine and Nash's. Have you refreshed? Quick refresh. Yeah. Uh, anyone over one? Oh. Over one? Does that over one? one. If it's anyone who succeeded. Yep. One and over, so not Nash. Uh, you get a sense of. Something wibbly's coming, going There's on. Something wibbly going on. <laughs> I'm too stoned yeah, for that, man. I mean, <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use my investigate? Because I feel something wibbly is going on. Uh, you can give it a try. Uh, roll me perception plus investigation. Difficulty six. You can do this. What's he doing? Investigate. Investigate. He, he's, he's applying his critical eye to the scene. As you pull up, he has one. And difficulty seven along West Ham yeah. Lane. No difficulty, difficulty six, six. That one is. So you can roll again. I've actually got seven things to to roll, but but you rolled still five. success. Uh, one success. Um, things aren't as busy as they'd normally be this time of night around here. You... Oh. There'd normally be sort of people on the street, but there doesn't really seem to be anyone. Shouldn't there be more tramps around here? There should be. <laughs> I should have my... really noticed that. <laughs> where are all my trampy friends? I normally beg on this street. <laughs> uh, you see a flash of light coming from inside the park. Um, should we exit the vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do that. Drive it to the park gate. <laughs> Alright, I'm driving up to the park gate. I think you're driving <laughs> through the park gate. <laughs> <laughs> so we buy, we buy the park gates, what's okay. going on? Um, unless you do anything else, basically through the trees you see uh, repeated sort of flashes and some noises. Let's charge in! Noodle so, uh, Charlie is here again! <laughs> Alright, uh, running into I, the middle of the park, can I uh, use my... following the flashes of light. Sorry, ask who does something. I've got survival, <laughs> um, yeah. so bear in mind that our friend here has had to survive, could we see any signs of uh, escaping, because my knowledge of survival, I've tried to escape various situations before. Can we see if we can track her path? Um, or would that be investigation? No, no, um, what's your, how many levels of survival do you have? Five. I won't make you roll, it's fairly obvious uh, that someone's been running and like breaking a path through the sort of bushes and stuff. Sure. Um, can I use my technology or computer or science to make a <laughs> flashlight for us? <laughs> no. No. Okay. It's not, honestly, it, it, it's London, so it's not very dark. Okay. There's light flashing anyway, that's fine. There's yeah, light <laughs> yeah. flashes of light. Alright, um, without further ado, you come onto the scene and you see your friend, uh, Lee, uh, fighting <laughs> against someone. Lee Lee. Lee. Can I <laughs> manipulate the light to become very bright to blind him? What about us? <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? She's fighting. Uh, she's fighting a tall man. Um, 
Is he wearing sunglasses? Can he's I use my charisma to, no. to ask the tall man what he's doing? He's bald with a tattooed face. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got to be a nut.